Hello everybody, today we have Rebel Potions Pot of Gold Bath Bomb. Oh, it's even got a rainbow painted on the back. This one smells to me like the furs um, from Lush. It's kind of coconutty. It's a beautiful scent and of course it is a couple days before St. Patrick's Day so it seems appropriate. I mean to get all these done. This one's so pretty. I don't want to just drop it because I'm afraid it'll overcome him because he's such a big one. So pretty. Look at that show he's putting on. Love it. Okay, we'll let go. Oh, no, I don't want the rainbow to be ruined. It's so pretty. Oh, and it smells so good. Now, it has been freezing again here in Tennessee. We even had a little bit of snow a couple days ago. I know a lot of people have had snow around here. It's been kind of crazy with this weather here lately. And, yeah. So remember, if you want to make an order from Rebel Potions, go to rebelpotions.com. Make sure you use the code FUNXES out for 15% off your order. And, oh, that's weird. The color just completely adjusted. I thought it was my phone on, on uh, the night shift, so that's interesting. Huh. Maybe I busted my camera somehow. <laughs> I don't know. But you can see all the glitter in the top. There's my top. <laughs> all the glitter in the top from this. This is a gorgeous bath bomb. Definitely am enjoying this one. Um, oh, it smells beautiful. And uh, yeah, um, I know Rebel's kind of going through a rough time right now, so I'm sure an extra order or two would be helpful right now. Not financially or anything. She just uh, had a family member pass away. I hope she doesn't mind me saying, but yeah. And yep, as far as loss goes, I've lost a lot of people in my family. I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. Oh, here we go, it's gonna pop up. Um, I've lost my mother and all but one of my grandparents. So it is rough when people leave us, for sure. And yeah, oh, okay, that made a pretty little rainbow there. I know that seems kind of like weird to go, but I'm like, I just had to point that out, that was so pretty. And of course, so today I noticed that my cousin wrote that it had been, um, my aunt's passed away as well, wrote that it was her birthday today, and it is always hard celebrating those holidays without your loved one, especially when it is their special day. Um, even after the years passed by, I remember when my mother passed away, I happened to be working for somebody at the time who was in his 70s, and his mother had passed away many years ago, and... He even said that was just one of the hardest things he ever had to go through was the loss of his mother. And I'll have to agree with that. That's, you know, I've been through quite a bit in my life. I mean, everybody goes through stuff. Um, but I gotta say the death of my mom was pretty rough. You know, um, I hope all of y'all have a mother or have had a mother lucky enough to have a great mother in your life. I know that's not always the case with family members. I have some family members who I'm estranged from because we don't have the best relationship, and that's a bummer. Um, but yeah, let's talk about happier things today. Um, well, I guess it's kind of happier for me. I'm a little morbid if, well, maybe morbid is not the right. I'm just death friendly, death positive. If y'all don't know that about me, I even used to work in a funeral home. Uh, but here in Nashville, or I guess a county over, right outside of Nashville, we are getting a green cemetery. What that means is we can now um, bury people in the ground without embalming, without caskets. And I think the closest one prior to that was in Knoxville. So super excited about that. Right, you come to a bath bomb channel and we're talking about funerals, but that's okay. That's what I feel like talking about today. Um, funerals are so expensive and that was one of the reasons that I just didn't feel comfortable being in the industry anymore. It's just exorbitant to charge somebody $16,000 to bury a loved one. It just felt like robbery, knowing the cost was not that much. Hello, Mojo. My cats decided to come visit and say hello. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to say hello. Sometimes when I lay in the bath, he'll crawl on top of me. Even though he doesn't like the water, he wants to, wants to be close. He's a sweet kitty. Tell me about your fur babies, Blue. Do you have cats, dogs, fish, birds? Anything interesting 
let's see. We are five minutes in and there is not a whole lot of rainbow left. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Ooh. Dead rainbow. <laughs> So again, that was the pot of gold from Rebel Potions. And of course you can get her beautiful, beautiful bath bombs at rebelpotions.com. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. It is nice to know that somebody enjoys baths as much as I do. <laughs> so as always, if you like what you see, subscribe, stick around, leave me a comment. And as always, Punk says out. Ooh, look at the water. <laughs>